start to work with the hips in a small circles to one side. So really comfy on the hips, on the lower back, relax the shoulders. Always try to maintain this position, the shoulders away from your ears. And if you can here, also try to connect with your breathing. So when you go forward, breathing in, when you go back, breathing out and relax. Again here, don't worry if you feel hear noises on the joints, on the hips or on the lower back, that's okay. Imagine that you are putting oil on your joints. So enjoy, relax. And then we go to the opposite side. Releasing your hips, relaxing again the shoulders. Try to, in all the poses that we'll do, bring the awareness to the shoulders. Maintain the shoulders always away from your ears to allow these muscles to relax and to feel less pain. Good, now in the center, breathing in and arching your spine. Open your chest, again, shoulders away. Don't force too much, eh? And then breathing out, rounding your back, relax your neck. Again here, the shoulders are away from your ears. Breathing in, open, shoulders away, chest open, breathing in, breathing out, release. Do it to your own rhythm. Always try to connect with the rhythm of your breathing. And try to do the exercise following the rhythm of your breathing. Expand again. Good. Now, when we arch, we will put the toes on the floor and we try to feel the expansion on the sole of your feet and your toes. So spread the toes, stretch the sole of your foot, and then lengthen your spine, rounding your back, and squeeze your feet. And again, breathing in, open, spine, shoulders, neck. Breathing out, release. And we go again, breathing in, open, expand, breathe out, release. Good. Now we will open the knees and we go to a pose that is called child pose. We go slowly toward the feet. Try to relax the lower back between the legs. So really open your knees to have a space for your belly and your chest. We try to bring the hips really back without forcing. And then slowly we release the spine, the back, chest, armpit, shoulder blades, neck, head. Try to relax your arms to the front. Again, in this position, maintain the shoulders away from your ears, yes? So if you need, open your arms as much as you need to maintain those shoulders relaxed. Don't allow the shoulders to go to your ears. Release, relax. If you feel that this is too much, you can put always the hands below the forehead to feel more comfortable on the head and the neck. But try to relax the armpits. So in this position also, relax your chest, your armpits. If you feel okay, we stretch the arms. And we stay there, focus on the breathing. Using each breath out to relax your body toward the hips, toward the floor. Relaxing your chest, your armpits, your neck, your head. We stay a few breathings there. And then we move the hands to one side. Stretching your back, relaxing, releasing. We can stay as long as you can here, relaxing the shoulder, relaxing your chest. And then we move the hands to the opposite side. And we relax, releasing, letting go completely. So use each breath out to surrender to the floor. And each breathing, we try to lengthen the spine. Good. Now we come back to the center again. And if we can here, we try to put the hands behind the head on the shoulder blades. And we try to move the elbows a little bit more forward to allow the armpits and the chest to relax. And we stay there breathing deeply. Always use your breathing in your favor. So when you breathe out, relax. 
When you breathe in, allow that breathing to open your chest, your belly, naturally. Don't block your breathing. And then we release again. We put the hands on the floor and we go to all fours. Now, I will show you one exercise that is the king of the yoga that is called downward facing dog, yes? So we relax the shoulders away, open your chest. This position is really important, yes? We curl the toes, we ground the hands and we will lift the hips up to stretch your back. Don't worry about the legs first. Try to focus on your upper body. So we try to ground the hands on the floor, pushing your hips up, lengthening your arms, lengthen your spine, opening the chest toward the legs. And working here with your breathing. So when you breathe in, lifting your hips up and then back. And when you breathe out, relax your chest toward the floor. Relax your neck, your head. So you can always check your head, yes and no, or side to side, yes, to check that your neck is really free. Now slowly we will add the legs. We try to release the heels toward the floor, one by one, like a warming up when you do your running or your walking. And then when you feel ready, we try to release both heels toward the floor, expanding your spine, opening your chest. Don't worry if you don't arrive with the heels to the floor, okay? Even if you are here, try to lengthen your spine, lifting your hips, and then try to relax the heels, even if you don't touch the heels on the floor. Good, and then we release. So we will try from here. Yes, we will try to do two exercises from downward facing dog to this position opening or if you feel strong from plank. OK, so I, I will show you two options from here, breathing in, open the spine, breathing out, lifting your hips up to downward facing dog, expanding open. Good. Or we can do it from plank, lengthening your body, relaxing the shoulders away. So your body is long from the crown of the head to the heels, shoulders away. And then from there, breathing out, we push with the hands, lifting your hips up, and we go to downward facing dog, opening, expanding. So we can go to plank again, breathing in, shoulders away. Breathing out, lifting. Or we can go with the knees on the floor. Breathing in, expanding, open. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Good. And we stay as much as we can, relaxing your chest, relaxing your legs, relaxing your neck, your head, your shoulders. Trying to lift in your hips up. Good. So we are mastering here our downward facing dog. We stay as long as we can. Remember to relax your upper body. Remember to relax your neck, your head. Relax your chest and relax your heels. Good. Very nice. Now, from here we will done with the warm up. So I will see you in the next part where I will lead you to the class and then to a flowing sequence. See you later.